This business model makes millions for me yearly and it has also made a lot of millionaires. Therefore, I'm going to show you exactly how to start this business, how long it's going to take you to make your first 1 million and how to apply to get this business successfully. But before we go into the business model proper, let me show you what really happened to me when I didn't start this business. Growing up as a child, I never imagined I was ever going to be a businessman because the mentality and what our parents taught us was to go to college, get a degree, get a job and start a life. Therefore, our parents did their best and struggled really hard to give us a formal education. And because of the mentality that we are working with, immediately my eldest brother graduated. He got a job and then he became the breadwinner of the family. And then he started caring for the family, taking different family projects. And then he sent me to the best high school in my state to get a good education. But while I was in my third year in high school, the worst thing you could ever imagine happened to me and that changed my mentality for life. There was a big wave of recession in the country and the recession hit the economy so hard that almost 50% of workers lost their job and were sent home jobless. Unfortunately, the heat from this recession also got to my brother and he lost his job and then things became really tough and hard for us again. And that was when it dawned on me that I needed to change my mindset or the idea of going to the college to get a degree and then getting a job and starting a life because your destiny and your life is solely in the hands of your employer. They can decide to sack you any day and then you go back to nothing going back to square one and starting from zero all again. That alone changed my mindset for life and I realized I wasn't going to work with that mindset anymore. In the midst of this recession and the hardship in the economy, I started to make research about successful and rich people because I wanted such life for myself. And then I realized that almost all the rich people that were listed in the Forbes list, almost all of them, majority of them were business owners, businessmen, businesswomen who are doing really well for their businesses. And then the idea of business came to my mind, even though I never knew how to start a business, I never knew how to run a business, and I never knew how to grow a business successfully. But at that point, I realized that what I wanted to do in life was to become a businessman because I didn't want my destiny to be tied in the hand of an employer that can decide to sack me any day based on his moods or emotion. Because I changed my mindset and started thinking like a businessman, immediately after my college, I came up with a very innovative idea and I started my first business. But was this business successful? The business was very innovative with great potentials, but this business wasn't successful because I lacked experience to run the business successfully. I didn't have the startup capital to run the business and expand it successfully. And also I lacked sales experience. Therefore, it dawned on me that I needed a formal training on how to run a business successfully. And then I paused my business and applied for a sales representative position in a corporate company. But even at that, I was still working with the mindset of a businessman. So therefore, before I even applied for the job, I already knew I was going to do it for a limited time in order for me to learn how to run a business successfully, in order for me to learn sales experience, and then in order for me to get some money to start up my business properly. Therefore, the first step required to run a successful business is to recalibrate your mindset, to have a business mindset and focus on it, and also to gain the former experience on how to run a business successfully. I did this job for six months and then I gained the experience I needed because I was working closely with the managing teams of this company and also gained the sales and customer relations experience that I needed. But while working on this job, I learned something very, very important. The company I was working with were making their money as a result of the value that they were offering to their customers. They were helping their customers to solve a particular problem and their customers were paying them generously for these solutions that they were providing for the customer. So the second important step you need to take from this video is that in order for you to make money as a businessman, you have to provide value that can solve people's pain point that they will be able to give you their money in exchange for the solutions you're providing for them. Because I acquired this business knowledge, I started looking out for challenges that people in my community were facing and how I could provide value for them that they will be able to pay me in exchange for the values that I will be providing. One day during the holidays while I was resting, I decided to go to the nearby bank because there was only one bank in my community that was serving the whole people. And then I decided to go there to use my ATM card to withdraw some cash so that I could buy some product. And when I got there, I was surprised at the queue that I saw. I saw a large number of people on the queue waiting to withdraw some money from the ATM. While I was there, I waited for hours and aside that, I saw the pains, the anger and the aggression in the eyes of these customers struggling to gain access to their hard-earned money. And then I saw the problem that we were going through and I was thinking, I started wondering that, 
how can I solve this problem for these people so that they can be able to pay me in exchange for this value and the solution that I'm going to provide for them by easing them the stress of having access to their hard-earned money. And in order to solve this problem, I went to the nearby city close to my community where there are so many banks and then I applied for a mini debit machine used to debit someone from their ATM card give them cash in return and then they are going to pay you for the service you render. So the fourth point after identifying the pain point of your target customer is to go ahead to provide solutions for them. Therefore, there are so many companies and banks offering these mini machine services and then you can apply to get access to this machine and use it for your business. Therefore, after setting up my business, I resigned from my job and focused on my business quickly because I've already gotten the experience needed to run my business successfully. I got my office space and started my business, but did I make any profit in the first one month? Nope. I didn't make any profit because customers were not coming. In the course of finding solutions to the problem, I decided to try a different location and then I got an office space in a different location. And immediately I changed my location to a different location. Customers started coming in in queues and then I started making a lot of profit. This is the fifth takeaway from this point that whatever the kind of business you're running, Note that if you're not in the right location, whatever the business you're running, no matter how profitable, no matter how big the potential of the business is, if your business is not located in the right location, you're never going to grow. You're never going to make profit. So for you to be successful in any business, first, you have to analyze the location that you're going to set up your business because this will impact your business greatly. It will determine if the business is going to thrive or not. So Whenever setting up any kind of business at all, your location should be very, very, very vital. Your location should be very important thing to consider. Having said that, let's jump on my business dashboard to show you exactly how much I make and how I was able to do this. Before we do that, please know that it is completely free to like this video if you're gaining value from it and feel free to subscribe to my channel to support me and to gain access to quality videos like this whenever I post a new video regarding business and making money. And if you have liked the video and subscribed to my channel, let's jump on my business dashboard to show you exactly how much I make and how I do this. Once you log into the dashboard, it will show, hi, Edward, welcome. And then we can click on transaction history to see the transactions history. You can see that in the transaction history uh, in December, 2021, when I actually started, I have about 4,135,158 naira. And as you can see from the transaction history, there are so many transactions here going on. We have transactions for withdrawal, transactions for deposit, transactions for electricity, transactions for card, transaction for bet account top up different transactions even if you want to buy e-payment cards we provide them for you too on average are 10 to 50 customers in a day and average charges per customer is 200 so let's do the maths 50 customers start days in a month close to 1500 1500 multiply by 200 transactions per month which is 300,000 per month so let's multiply the 300,000 per month times 12 which is 12 months in a year you have 3 million 600,000. This is just an overview of how much you can make from this business in a year from just one outlet and I have two different outlets. So do the math. But if you are not interested in running a physical business like this and you want to run an online business, click on this video on the screen to learn 10 different passive income ideas on how you can make millions even while sitting at home with your smartphone, your computer and your internet connection. Click on this video on the screen to learn about these 10 ways and see you in this video.